If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, now is the time at I C U R A Rook. I will be giving away one to five percent of every tournament I play for the next two months. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter, follow the instructions on the tweets, and you will have a chance to win hundreds or thousands of dollars for free. That's all you got to do. Follow me on Twitter. Wait for the tweet. I'll randomly choose a winner. It could be you. Congrats to today's winner. Gets 5% of whatever I cash for in this event. Good luck us. The Encore, $230, 30K guaranteed. It's Saturday. Starts every Saturday at noon. We're getting here at 2.45. Late reg till 4.20. Blaze it. This is a one day event. Let's win all the chips around four o'clock in the morning. We'll be tired, but the adrenaline will be pumping and it's gonna feel great. Let's get it. C3. With lines at. 100, 300, 300. Cutoff opens to 700. Small blind calls. I have Jack, nine offsuit in the big blind. Pretty easy defend. Flop comes, 884. Two spades, one heart. I got the Jack of spades. Small blind checks. Before I can check, original Razor bets out 800. He's informed he's betting on a turn. I check, letting the bet stand. He says, I don't care. Small blind folds, and I put in the check raise to 2,500. Started the hand with 15,000. Rub it in eight. Pocket fours, flush draws, straight draws. Mainly an eight. He makes it 5,500. He's saying he's got an over pair and doesn't care if I have an eight. And I lay it down. I ask to see the bluff. And he shows me king 10 of clubs, all right? playing some street poker here the blinds at 200 400 400 action folds to middle position makes it 1000 local reg two calls behind him I'm in the small blind with King Jack off and 12,500 chips I put in the call the flop comes Queen 10 8 with the 10 8 of hearts I believe checks to the original razor makes it 2500 both players call good jam definitely can't fold I'd like to call this time let's see a turn Turns the ace of diamonds, I believe. Very wet, action-packed board. Don't want it to check through. So I shove all in for 8,000. Original razor folds. Fun player jam 16,000. Other guy goes deep in the tank, having him covered, and eventually calls with ace 10, and we have video. All right, fresh off a of rebuy, we win a few small pots. Still have our eye on the fish who's playing real fishy. He opens to 1,000. Button calls, we're in the big blind with king nine off. Definitely calling versus this guy. Flop comes nine, six, three, all hearts. I don't have a heart, but we do have top pair. I check to the fish who bets 1,700. Other guy calls and we put in the call. The turn is a black deuce, a beautiful card, unless he has exactly four or five. We check to the fish who shoves all in 24,000. Big over bet. Other player folds and actions back to us. I have 22,000 chips facing this over bet. Can I fold top pair? Of course I can't fold top pair. I call. He shows ace king with the king of hearts. Let's hold. The river is an eight of hearts and he stacks us. We rebuy again. With blinds at 200, 400, 400. 
Action folds to the cutoff. Big stack loose player makes it 1200. I got a fresh 15K and I look down at pocket queens in the small blind. Make it 5,000 to go. Elderly gentleman on my left snap shoves 13,000. Original razor folds and we put in the call. Old Caucasian has pocket kings. The board runs out. All bricks and we double him up. With a stack of 6,400, blinds are 200, 400, 400. Local reg Mike opens to 1K. Fish calls, I'm on the button with, ace five of diamonds. The new aces, so of course I jam all in for 6,400. Mike folds and fish calls with pocket fours. The flop comes, ace, 10, eight, we got him. Two hearts, turn is a nine of hearts. The fish says, give me a heart. He does not get a heart, but he gets a four. And we bust again. 200 more dollars. Please, floor man at the win. We're now in for $830. When will the pain end? Uh, the one good thing about having to rebuy repeatedly is at the win, the floor man will come around, take $200 cold hard cash from you, you don't have to get up and they just give you 15k more chips very convenient uh really stops people from people from just busting out of the tournament and going home you're in the seat there's no additional rake except for the three percent dealer fee on this rebuy so it's a great value let's win some races and build a stack I have exactly 10,000 chips at the end of rebuy period. With the win rebuy rules, if you have 10K or less, you can rebuy $200 for 15K chips. And at the end of late reg, you can add on 7,500 chips for $100. I elect to do both. Max pain, I now have a stack of 32,500 and I'm in for $1,130, an all time high. We're setting records at the win. More dedicated than ever to take this down and win my money back. With blinds at 600, 1200, 1200, I get moved to a new table. Right in time to be the big blind, that's okay. Uh, middle position limps, button limps, small blind shoves 9K. I look down at pocket sixes in a 40K stack. Don't think the other guys are too strong. Let's, uh, call it off with a pair the other two players fold him up against ace jack he flops a jack and we double him up we now have thirty thousand chips i shove ace eight suited on the button for just over 10 blinds the small blind calls with king queen suited and we hold Blinds at 1,000, 2,000, get back from dinner, fold a few hands, and then I look down at Ace Jack of Hearts, 55,000 starting stack. We're gonna go with the min raise. 4,000 to go, action folds to the button. A Caucasian male, age 30, with some AirPods in, named Chris, makes it 13,000 to go. Action folds back to me and I have a decision. Do I shove, call, or fold? I think all options are reasonable. I'm leaning more towards shove or fold, being out of position with a relatively short stack depths. I haven't seen him three bet light so far, so as much as it hurts, I'm gonna give him credit and fold. I ask him to show the bluff, and he doesn't show, but I don't think he was bluffing. Shout out to Chris. Nice hand. One orbit later, I open to 4,000 with ace 10 offsuit, middle position, action folds to the big blind who puts in the call. The flop comes queen nine four, two diamonds. He checks, I bet 4,000. And he quickly puts in the call. I have some somewhat of a live read on him. Don't think he's very strong at best. He has like a nine, maybe a straight draw, flush draw type of hand. 
When the turn brings an offsuit three, he checks and it's time to earn the pot. Ace high might be good or we might be able to fold him off his equity. I barrel 10,000, setting up a river jam, allegedly. He quickly puts in the call. The river is a four. He checks and I don't see a reason to keep barreling. If he missed one of his straight or flush draws, ace high is good or he's gonna be sticky with his nine or queen. We check behind and he shows pocket eights. Good read. Blinds at one, 2,000. I'm under the gun with Jack-10 suited. A pretty hand, uh, pretty thin open here, but we gotta make something happen. I make it 4,000. Action folds to a sports betting guy who makes it 16,000 in the cutoff. I fold and he claims he has queens. Good for you. Get a few marginal shoves through to pick up some blinds. Gotta survive. With blinds at 2,000, 4,000. I'm in middle position seven handed and look down at ace, eighth, offsuit, a premium. I shove all in, African-American male in the small blind, puts in the call after getting a count. He shows pocket threes, we're off to the races. The flop comes, 10, 10, deuce, rainbow. I feel a double board pair counterfeit coming. The turn is a deuce, there goes that. And the river is a jack. And we're out of the Encore, $230 rebuy. Over $16,000 for first. We're in for $1,130, a record for me. Feels really, really bad, man. Congrats to the 5% winner. Just kidding, you get $0. Stay tuned for future giveaways. The field was very soft, so that's a good reason to keep rebuying. Plus, I'm here. If I have an edge on the field, I should keep putting money in. It's just $200 at a time. It's not that big a deal. In the future, though, I could avoid mass rebuying by max late regging at 420, getting in for 230 plus the $100 add-on for 22,500 chips, going to 400, 800. Also a valid strategy, but being that short stacked, the pressure's on to double up quickly, win some pots, or else you'll kind of just be blinded out. Until next time, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot.